Hi guys, today's video is going to be Amalaise's Summer Cage Tour and as you can see in front of you, this is Amalaise's Detolf Cage. You can purchase this in Ikea, which is a furniture store and you can find that in most countries. The exact measurements of the cage will be on screen now, but it's a little bit bigger than 5 foot in length and it's a little bit bigger than a foot in width. The Detolf is sold as a showcase, so you won't find it advertised as a hamster cage, but all you have to do is buy the regular Detolf showcase, build it together by following the instructions that it comes with, and just don't include the shelves and the door, lie it down on its back, and it's ready to go as a cage. I have my Detolf standing on top of two four square Expedit units, these are now known as the Calyx units, and if you want to see my full review on this cage, I will link it beneath in the description box. And for those of you who don't already know, Amalaise is a winter white hybrid dwarf hamster. So this is just a quick overview of the cage, and as you can see, Amalaise has a natural style setup. Moving from left to right and starting in the burrowing corner, we have aspen shavings as the substrate. On the far left, Amalaise has her small carrot cottage, which is where she's playing at the minute, and she also has this natural wooden hideaway. She has another natural wooden hideaway, and pretty much all the toys in this cage come from viavet.co.uk, since they are one of the only pet care companies that actually posts out here to Cyprus, which is why I order from them so much. She also has this very small hamster dish. This is so cute, and you can buy these on Amazon, I believe. I bought mine at a hamster show a couple of years ago, and it has the remains of her dinner in it. Moving to the edge of the burrowing area, you can see three bendy bridges used in different ways. We have the first bendy bridge, which is just being used as a little hideaway and climbing area. The second bendy bridge, which is the medium-sized one, is being used as a stairway to get from one area of the cage to the next. And the third bendy bridge, which is actually a suspension bridge, is being used as a wall to keep the aspen into its own area. Beneath the wall are a few sanitized garden pebbles, which are just helping to keep the aspen in. The next section of cage is the sandy area, and the sand used in this is just children's play sand bought from the Early Learning Centre. You can buy a big 10 kilogram bag there, which doesn't cost very much, and it goes a very long way. Amelie's has her purpley pink 8 inch comfort wheel, which is a little bit dirty because she does like to wee on it as she runs. She also has her cheesy chew, which I believe is by Living World. She has a hide and seek log. This is one of my all time favourite toys for dwarf hamsters. I have never had a dwarf hamster who doesn't love the hide and seek logs. She has a piece of natural driftwood, a couple of willow sticks for chewing, yet another bendy bridge, another piece of driftwood, and then we have this larger rock which helps her get up to her Trixie water bottle. And her water bottle is held in with this standard water bottle holder. And you can usually find these in the rodent section of pet shops and they're usually sold towards gerbils and rats. Leading into the final part of the cage, we have this huge piece of driftwood, which I love and Amalaise loves and she can climb over it so easily. We have another suspension bridge and this one has just been arched over like a regular bendy bridge. And finally, underneath all of this, we have all of these sanitized garden rocks and all you have to do to sanitize garden rocks is let them soak in some boiling water for a couple of hours and then just rinse them off, make sure all the dirt's off of them. And this area helps Amelie's to keep her claws down, it gives her somewhere cool to rest on hot days, which we get a lot of this time of year, and it's just a nice different terrain for her. And I almost forgot to say the backing of this cage is just a standard vivarium backing, and I bought this from a local pet shop, I think it cost about 5 euros, and it covers the entire back of the cage. So there we go, that's Amelaise's summer cage tour, and Einstein's cage tour will be up tomorrow, so be prepared for that. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, you can share it with your friends and leave comments as well, and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!